So hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video I am going to share with you 4 anatomy resources that you can use for question solving alright so not just see uh, if you have to prepare for exams like USMLE or UKMLA which is right now called PLAB but later it will turn to uh, UKMLA or NEXT which is right now called NEAT but later on it will be uh, NEXT so uh, if you want to score in these exams then you need to solve questions also you need to be very uh, you need some practice in questions okay so just the theory is not enough so uh, that practice where can you do so i'm going to share with you four resources that you can use okay links to all the resources are there in the description as well as on my website uh, now the first website which i'm going to show you is a uh, medical gross anatomy this is by texas tech university now what ha what is there in this is so when you will open the website uh, what you will find is that the questions are not arranged in the regional matter like we study like uh, upper limb or then head and neck lower limb abdomen thorax so here you will not find the uh, organs are arranged in that pattern they are arranged in the old pattern like the cardiovascular system respiratory system but don't worry, uh, they are still segregated on the basis of the organs. So like in the musculoskeletal system, you will find upper limb and lower limb. And in the respiratory system, you will find the thorax, okay? So it won't be that uh, difficult. And the questions are there. There are two types of questions for uh, every individual smaller topic, okay? And they are the written questions. That is a theory MCQ, which you can practice if you want. And the others are uh, not the theory, but they are the practical ones. So uh, I would uh, request you to do the practical ones more, okay? Focus on the practical ones because they will help you a lot more, okay? So now let's go to the screen and see it. So that's my page guys and so here I'm going to click uh, on the medical gross anatomy okay so you will see this okay now this is the medical gross anatomy okay so you see you can see that there are different different systems so this is musculoskeletal system then if you go above this cardiovascular ga gastrointestinal so let's see reproductive so you can see that here the topics are not uh, some physiological topics these are all anatomical topics okay but they are segregated on the basis of the topics okay uh, not on the basis of the uh, not on the basis of uh, the regions they are based on the on systems okay now for every uh, uh, questionnaire for every for every topic there are two types of questions so one is practical and the other is written so if you see any topic let's say thoracic wall pleura pericardium so if you see that on if, if i go to the written then uh, i'm going to see like 25 items means 25 questions so you see that there are written questions okay so you can see so some of some of them a lot of them are vignettes okay so you would love these okay so i think this is one of the best source and then you can go to the practical so actually both of them are really important uh, whether it's the practical or the theory okay so here you will see the practical uh, questions okay so these are amazing questions okay so you can go and here change the questions okay so you see th this is amazing so like so the uh, this is good so i think this is something which you must uh, subscribe to so i hope you love that now uh, the next resource which i am going to show you is the best free resource for anatomy in um, uh, this world i guess i have covered this blog uh, on my uh, other videos also but uh, in case you didn't watch that let me sh uh, show you here okay so this is by university of michigan now they have a lot of stuff on their anatomy website okay but here i'm linking you to the question bank okay now uh, individual topics questions on the basis of individual topics are there so if you click any of those topics then uh, you will go to the pdf and there you will find the questions the questions are not that uh, basic questions they are a bit interesting questions so you will find some clinical vignettes you can also find the direct questions some image based questions so a lot of stuff is there so you can just um, call your friend and then solve all the questions on uh, a phone call yeah i do that with my friends a lot so let me show you the screen okay now the next thing uh, the next uh, source is university of michigan medical school now i have shared with you this link uh, earlier also but in that i was actually talking about the whole blog but now i'm just going to talk about the practice question so in this also you can select anyone let's say let's say let's do uh, posterior mediastinum 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 is a beautiful topic so let's see now uh, this is the anatomy question okay so this is something people, people would like so you can see that there are vignettes and then there is answer okay so you see so there's a lot of stuff okay so most of them are uh, great questions and uh, you will love it okay now this next source which i'm going to show you 
is uh, the anatomy guy okay now this is uh, this is also one of the best blocks for anatomy for ugs as well as for post graduates now this is a vertical integration type thing okay so the question bank here is amazing because this that question bank is really customized uh, customizable so what you can do is you can select the topic and you can select the type of question and then you will see some interesting questions and if you follow these questions then i'm sure you will ace in your exams uh, with the mcq exams in anatomy whether you give usmle uk ml uk ml or uh, next okay now i'm going to show you the screen and carefully look at it because you need to see how it all works okay so this is the third uh, so this is the third source and this is quiz from anatomy guy so in this you can you have to select the topic so let uh, let me see you first so this is the anatomy guy and this is the complete blog and there is a lot of stuff and um, uh, you can do this but here we are going to talk about anatomy so let's see you go to the anatomy topics and let's see which topic let's go ahead and next now let's see uh, what kind of questions you want so you want you want knowledge you want application you want comprehension you want synthesis so all type of question okay so and then you only want a short quiz okay or let's see any which quiz okay so uh, if you do that and then if you begin the quiz then actually uh, one time they will only give you 10 or 25 so this is a small quiz so i think only 10 questions will be there so if you begin the quiz then you see that there are a lot of questions okay so you see that these uh, three sources are great like one of the best uh, i guess these are so uh, all of them has vignettes and uh, i think uh, you should thank me when i am showing you this all stuff right Okay. Now the last one is actually a book. No, it's not a website. It's a book. The Gray's Anatomy Review. So we know that the Gray's Anatomy is the golden standard for anatomy. Okay, the uh, the book is amazing. Now on the basis of that book, there are lot of questions of, uh, which are prepared and they are compiled in another book that is the review book. So in that, in on the basis of individual chapter, there you will see a lot of questions MCQs. and most of them are clinical vignettes actually all of them are clinical vignettes so if you want to be uh, perfect in the clinical vignettes of anatomy and you will get a lot of help if you uh, do this then you will get a lot of help in your surgery so uh, then do buy this and you will be a master of anatomy okay so i hope you loved this video and if you do then do share it with your friends and uh, best of luck for your exams and uh, Uh, do subscribe like share this comment as uh, okay if you want to see more such videos then like subscribe share and comment god bless you